Hey guys, here with another video, kind of in follow-up to the last one. Um, after doing a little bit of testing, I found another product I wanted to kind of introduce. This right here, Clorox Disinfecting Bathroom Bleach-Free Cleaner. I want to be very specific. This is not just any old Clorox product, okay? This is a bathroom bleach-free cleaner. And if you look at the ingredients, okay, you'll notice one, obviously, the no bleach. You'll also notice that there's no alcohol or anything like that. This is a very specific product, okay? Now, that said, I am going to be testing this out on my mat, and I have already kind of been putzing around with it. I think you're going to like the results, but I wanted to do a quick test. I'm doing a 12-hour and a 24-hour test, three of the harder colors uh, to remove from my experiences. I started uh, by putting these down at 7.30 this morning, and I'm going to intentionally be doing a Magic Juice versus a Clorox Bleach to show the difference between these two at 12 hour versus 24 hour. And I'm gonna intentionally just kind of go through this and just erase them and we'll just kind of see how this goes. Um, so starting with the Magic Juice, we're gonna go ahead and spray this on. You can see that there comes a point when the, the uh, actual marker literally starts like liquefying as I spray it. Oop, I got a little bit of the Clorox one by accident, oops. Well, you can see that, that that kind of natural wateriness is kind of the point when you really want to start removing this. So, let's start removing, okay? I'm gonna even take this off just because naturally it's gonna get wet. So this is after 12 hours. It's been a while, okay? But let me, let me get a second coating of this just to show you how even a second coat goes. Now, I know we kind of saw this in the last video that it wasn't the um, the greatest for removing, but you can really see that's that's struggling. Okay, now I'm going to use this product intentionally here, and I am actually spraying it directly on the mat. Okay, I'm going to use a fresh paper towel just to show. Uh, the actual results. Sorry about the camera there. Now, the initial removal from that first spray, I want you to take a look at that. That's pretty comparable, okay? But let me take a little bit more. Now that I've gotten the worst of it off, and let me start really kind of working this in. And you can see, I'm not scrubbing too hard, but I am definitely putting pressure in there. And after just two coats, this is essentially gone. Completely brand new aesthetic, and equally important, you'll notice the background, the lines, nothing like that are getting damaged or faded or anything. Now, I've only been testing this for about 24 hours. I haven't been doing this for weeks or months or anything like that. So obviously use this at your own risk. Um, I would be very fearful of, you know, being too aggressive and too generous with the spray. I have been spraying it directly on the mat though, because I first started by just spraying it onto a, uh, a paper towel directly. But I mean, you can see, there's nothing there compared to this. Now let's quickly go through the other ones. I'm gonna move a little bit quicker through these guys. Again, you can kind of see when they start to liquefy, like I was talking about. That red one, wowee, that came right up. A Little bit of red, barely there, but that blue, very, very stubborn look. Okay, and you can see that's still faded. In comparison, this, by the way, that wasn't even a clean paper towel, so that was actually pretty good for the uh, the wormwood magic juice. Okay, a little bit of black smear. Sorry, I'm using a dirty one. Let me get a clean one. Okay, so again, that initial cleaning is pretty comparable for the blue, maybe even a little worse. Um, it's hard to say depending on how much spray I put down. I'm not being scientific about it. Oops, I sprayed it on both. That was not what I meant to do. I'll just let it dry. <laughs> but a little bit of rubbing. Let's see if we can't get that off. 
I expect this is gonna be the hardest one to get off, if I'm being honest from a stain standpoint, from my experience of um, just initial removal, the black is really tough, but from a staining standpoint, this blue really does seem to wanna persist. And you can see that's after 12 hours and I am working pretty vigorously to try and get this out. And it's still not 100% after two, two passes even. Let me give it a third one. Let's see if we can't get it gone. Switch hands, my hand's getting a little tired. So after two, I'm sorry, three passes, you can see it is still a little bit stained, okay? That's not too bad, but it definitely is still there. So for what that's worth, be very careful with the blue and how you're using it, okay? You can see, again, this was after two passes with this one, if I'm being fair. Let me give it another go here. Not too bad. So you can see the blue definitely does want to stain. You can see that, that lingering. I bet you I could probably get that up with a little bit more elbow grease. Um, I will be honest, I'm a little bit apprehensive to dig in too much harder, too much longer. I'm worried about fading on the mat because of the continued pressure. And obviously it is printed, so it will eventually fail, but um, yeah, let me give it one more go. Just because why not? That already looks better. It's hard to tell when it stains just a little bit because of the multicolored background. Some of the spots are a little bit lighter here, you know, for example, in the background and right here. So it's hard to tell, but that already looks pretty darn good. So uh, you can kind of see how this product is pretty amazing in what it does. Now I'm going to be doing a 24 hour test. I do not recommend doing this at home, but I'm going to do this for you guys. And we're going to see how bad in particular <laughs> this blue goes, but uh, we'll be back here. And the next time I come back on, we'll have be the 24 hour mark. I'll catch you guys later. All right, we're back. This is 24 hours later. <clears throat> Let's see how uh, the uh, magic juice cleans up. Just gonna go ahead and go get all three of these done at the same time here. See that fading is quite a bit worse this time around, especially on that black still again. It does not want to come off the black. Actually, the blue looks halfway decent even in person here. Do one more run. I think one of my biggest concerns is how much of this stuff it takes to use to remove it even when it wasn't 24 hours even when it wasn't 12 hours um you know it, it's a very generous amount of spray and that said i had tried it with the water at first and that seemed to kind of work as a good first act to maybe conserve some of that spray um, because i mean from my testing and doing everything i have i, I think i've probably used maybe a third of the bottle to a quarter of the bottle so that, that is a, a concern of mine, considering the, the bottles are kind of expensive. So now let's go on to the Clorox. This is the first, first run. Oh, 
Let's see here. Well, looks like my dog's joined me. All right. So that's after essentially very little work. You can see even 24 hours later, this is coming up. So I guess this just proves, again, um, that this product, this Clorox bathroom bleach-free disinfecting, I mean, it is really good. It does a great job, even 24 hours later, getting the most stubborn uh, marker off. Now, I did end up going back yesterday and uh, cleaning up the mat using the Clorox, uh, and you can see here that those old spots are completely gone. I mean, here's where this column was. The other one was, I think, right around here and here. And you literally can't even tell. So uh, I would, again, highly, highly recommend grabbing a bottle of this stuff at your local hardware store or Walmart or wherever you can um, pick this up. It was only a few bucks, I think. It was like three, four dollars for a uh, bottle and you can get it in bulk, obviously, as well. Uh, but probably won't need it. I mean, I'm, I'm using one or two sprays and you can see how well it works. So I hope this video uh, helps you out. Like, subscribe, and uh, feel free to post any comments or questions that you have, and I'll try and continue getting you guys answers. Thanks.